Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making eggnog cheesecakes. Now, if you're one of those people who don't like eggnog, that's okay. You're still gonna love this. Even if you don't like cheesecake, you're still gonna love this. Yeah, it's that good. So let's get started. Here I have some graham cracker crumbs, which already came crushed in a box. To it, I added some fresh nutmeg, some cinnamon, some melted butter, and what we're looking for is a wet sand texture. This is an individual cheesecake pan. You can make one single nine inch cheesecake with this recipe or you can make individual ones like I did. In the end, it'll all taste the same. I used about two tablespoons of the mixture for each cheesecake. I spread the mixture around with my fingers and then I used a glass to finish it off. Now for our cheesecake filling, we're going to use three blocks of room temperature cream cheese. If the cream cheese is straight out of the fridge, it will be lumpy. Also make sure to beat your cream cheese for about five to six minutes. You want it to be really smooth. I grated some fresh nutmeg, threw in some cinnamon and the sugar. After you add the sugar, you want to beat that for about a minute or so. Make sure to scrape down the sides and the bottom of your bowl. Go ahead and add the all-purpose flour, the eggnog. And I do have a recipe for eggnog if you want to check that out. I'll provide the information down in the description box below. But if you don't feel like making your own eggnog, you're more than welcome to purchase some eggnog at your local supermarket. Add a little bit of vanilla extract and your two eggs slowly. They were in a rush. After you throw in your eggs, you want to mix this for about 10 seconds. Make sure not to over mix. That looks so smooth and velvety. That's how it should look. And like I said earlier, if you don't have a cheesecake pan like the one I'm using, you may use a regular spring form pan. You may also use a muffin tin, but make sure to use cupcake liners or else you'll never get them out. I used a ladle to fill these up and this recipe gave me six individual cheesecakes. You want to give them a tap to get all of the air bubbles out and we are going to bake this in a preheated oven for about 35 minutes. This is what they look like when they were done baking. Not pretty, they sunk in the middle a little bit, but that's fine. I sliced off the top to make it look nicer, but of course that's optional. Also, when these are done baking, you want to let them cool completely before placing them in the fridge. And then you want to place them in the fridge for a minimum of four hours. And I'm gonna be honest here, I despise whipped cream. However, I think whipped cream is amazing to decorate cakes and cheesecakes. So that's why I did pipe on some whipped cream on top, sprinkled some green and red sprinkles, colors of Christmas. But you may serve this cheesecake by itself and it'll be amazing. Doesn't need whipped cream, fudge, cherries, nuts, sprinkles, nothing. However, if you want to make it pretty, that's a different story. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching.